pictures of an iconic fashion moment from Kate Moss. So this was at an outdoor concert. She is wearing McQueen hot pants, wellies, her waistcoat, a low slung belt, and just kind of woke up, didn't really wash my hair, but still look unbelievably fabulous. And long chain necklace, her studied casual look. Oh my God, I died. Um, that's going up on my wall. So, I think you already have that picture. I might. <laughs> I say It'll so, go next to the one you have. I say so a lot. I was about to show you what the boxes look like when they come off the press, but I can't find any and I can't reach Todd because he is the keeper of all of the inventory under lock and key. Anyway, they come out completely flat and you have to hand form them and kind of press in the seam lines and then you use the wafer sticker on the top and the bottom so you can hold it in place. And before then, you know, they all have those inserts that talk about the color inspiration. You have to fold them over the top and make sure um, it doesn't shake around in the box. And it's just a whole long process. So we have photos of Todd in this warehouse with a lineup of people in their white gloves putting this on and Todd directing it. And he became an expert at folding these boxes. So he was getting on the factory line with them. And it just sort of goes to show that when you're starting a business, you're not above doing anything and you're willing to get your hands dirty and filthy dirty. And I'm pretty sure I talked about this another time, but because of the new components and they had a lower weight fill, did I talk about this? The lower weight fill? No. Okay. So the, the weight, the, the amount of gloss inside the component in the new component was a t like, you know, 0 0.002 grams, smaller than it was in our original component. And it's illegal to have something on your box that has the wrong weight fill. And we had the old weight fill on our box. In order for us to get the new weight fill, we had two choices. One, produce 10,000 new boxes, which was out of the question because we had no money. Two, to get a sticker that would cover up the weight fill. And it was the last thing I want to do because I'm completely anal and perfectionistic about image and the way things look and packaging and all of that. But I had no choice because we literally couldn't afford these other 10,000 boxes. So this is what the box looks like. And you've seen it. And this is the issue. So we have the sticker on the bottom with our barcode and it goes over the top where we had the original weight fill and website. So now we have this obtrusive looking sticker going over the bottom and into the top of the box. This tortures me. Seeing this on shelves tortures me and we're almost out of these 10,000. So thank God, because then we can go back to our original weight fill with our original component. Because when all of this was happening from February to about May when we finally got to shipping. So mind you, February, April, oh, March, April, May, we had three months of sitting there in limbo. And I cannot tell you the torture that that is. So in this three months of limbo, we, oh, our manufacturer who gave us the damaged components decided to make good and send us 30,000 new components but it still would take at least eight to 10 weeks because there's a long time to ship it and you do it by boat. You wouldn't spend the extra money to do it by air. I mean, it was a whole situation. But during all this time, we're also trying to raise money and we're having investor meetings. This is so hard because you're sitting there with these incredible, huge moguls who have gobs and gobs of money and look for wise investments and companies to put it into so they can get the best return on investment. And this is during the massive economy crash. So suddenly all the people who were saying, God, if this was a year or two ago, I would write you a check right now, were keeping their money really close to their chest. And investing in a brand that involves somebody buying something became really risky because everybody wasn't shopping as much. And of course, there's this famous quote um, that William Lauder said, and it's, in a down economy, lipstick sales go up because it's a time when you can't buy the things you really want to buy, but at the very least, you can 
throw down $10, $20 for a beauty product that will make you feel a little bit better about yourself and a little more glamorous. And in down times, I think we need a little glamour more than ever because we want something that sort of gives us that sense of fantasy and escape. Mm -hmm.